the white text be visible um, over top of that. So. There's um, a CSS trick where you can uh, provide both an image and text, and then uh, use JavaScript to hide, uh, it's either JavaScript or CSS to hide the text and show the image, however, it doesn't work on screen readers, so screen readers see the text instead. Right. Yeah. Well, a lot of uh, frameworks like have a mix-in for that. <laughs> Any other questions that have been burning in your guys' brains about accessibility? I, I have one specific to Drupal 8. So I know Drupal 8 was touted as being more accessible. So assuming I develop a custom theme that follows best practices, has all the recommended tags, and what accessibility issues does that solve? All of the rest of it. Mm -hmm. right now. Mike, <laughs> <laughs> accessibility maintainer? Um, I, yeah, if you start with the core themes and you build off of, of uh, Classy, uh, that's a good start for that. Both adaptive theme and, and Zen are quite good, but but because Classy is part of core, it's, it's, a, it's a good base theme to, to, to start looking at and um, building from. Um, there's things like the inline form errors module, which was supposed to be just built into core and and part of the the uh, enabled by default, and that's not enabled by default yet. We need to try and, and um, every website that that is concerned about accessibility needs to go off and go in and, and select that uh, that. Um, module is now it's it was an experimental module and it's it's now um, a um, it's just an optional module in core um, I'd like to get it to be the point where that module is is just enabled by core like it was intended to be because it's only going to be a small fraction of people like maybe one percent of sites will enable that by by default but but the the number of people that it'll benefit is huge and it really should be something that is, is um, built